Ladies and gentlemen, Africa's voice on the world stage needs to be heard loud and clear. Africa must also be represented on important international bodies. Today, more than seven decades after the creation of the United Nations, Africa remains a junior partner without meaningful input or role in the system of international governance. This is particularly true of the United Nations, where Africa lacks representation on the Security Council and is underrepresented in a variety of ways. It is the right time to reform and revitalize the United Nations system to reflect current global realities and ensure that it is a more representative and equitable body. Only fair representation and transparency in those institutions can usher in a just era in multilateralism. Consistent with our Ezulwini consensus of 2005, we should collectively insist that Africa's reasonable request for no less than two permanent seats and five non-permanent seats in the UN Security Council be adopted. Equally important is Africa's media representation on the international stage. Africa is often portrayed in international media negatively. The endless representation at the continent troubled by civil wars, hunger, corruption, greed, disease and poverty is demeaning and dehumanizing and likely driven by a calculated strategy and agenda. This stereotypical and negative media representation of Africa not only disinforms the rest of the world about our continent, but also shapes the way we see ourselves as Africans. Telling our own stories and shaping our own narratives must be our top priority. In this regard, I would like to propose to this august body the establishment of an African Union Continental Media House. 